Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to start the first supplementary short story from your snapshots textbook. But before I start the lesson, if you are new to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive the latest updates of the information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. I am going to publish videos for all lessons from your main textbook and for short stories from your supplementary textbook. So without any delay, let me start the video. But before I start the video, let me ask you one single question. Which animal do you like most? And why do you like that particular animal more than any other animal? If you know the answer, comment in the comment section below and let me also know because the love for a particular animal reveals your personality also. People who like lions, tigers, they want to have a powerful life in their life or they want to lead a powerful life in their life. So uh, it depends upon your choice of animal also, we can understand what kind of a person are you. So comment in the comment section below. So let me also know and whoever is watching this video, let others also know what is your favorite animal and why do you like that particular animal the most. Uh, why I asked you the question is, of course, to know the, your personality and as well as to begin the first supplementary short story from your snapshots textbook. The name of the first supplementary short story is The Summer of the Beautiful White Hearts. <laughs> so this is the title of the lesson, The Summer of the Beautiful White Hearts. So in this lesson or in this short story, you are going to read about a beautiful white hearts used by two Armenian boys. So this story is about two Armenian boys who are from a Gogolian tribe and that tribe is famous for honesty and trustworthy, have done something really wrong but whether they have understood what they have committed and whether they have rectified that mistake or not, we will come to know at the end of the story. So in this video, I am going to give you the summary of the entire short story. See, as it is a short story from your supplementary, you should read this lesson or you should read this short story for enjoyment and you have to understand the main essence and the meaning of the entire lesson. So without any delay, let me start the summary of the short story, the summer of the beautiful white hearts. The Summer of the Beautiful White Hearts is narrated by nine-year-old Aram, a member of an Armenian community living among the lush fruit orchards and vineyards of California. One morning, Aram is awakened before dawn by his older cousin, Morad, who everyone thinks is crazy. So, Aram has a very crazy cousin, Morad. You must also be having some kind of, uh, this kind of uh, crazy cousins like Morad. So, one day morning, still he was sleeping. So, his cousin Morad came and uh, woke him up. Aram is astonished to see that Morath is sitting on a beautiful white horse. Aram has always wanted to ride a horse but his family is too poor to afford one. So as these boys belong to a poor Armenian family, though they have a dream of riding a horse but they couldn't offer it. But still they wanted to ride the horse. Now let us see what happened in the next part of the story. However, Gogarian family is noted not only for its poverty but also for its honesty. So it is unthinkable that Morad could have stolen the hearts. So Aram couldn't believe that uh, Morad could have stolen the hearts. But in fact, Morad had really stolen the hearts and because he wanted to ride the hearts and he wanted to enjoy the horse riding. Morad thought it was not wrong to steal a horse for uh, enjoy riding because they are not going to sell the hearts. So that is the point of uh, uh, view of the Morad thinking that as he had stolen the hearts only to enjoy the horse ride, that was not wrong and he invited Aram also 
to come and enjoy the horse ride with him. Now Aram is sure that Morad has stolen the horse but he jumps up behind Morad and the two of them begin to ride out of the little town in which they live. Of course Aram knew that it was a stolen horse but he couldn't resist his temptation and he also joined with Morad. As they start riding, Morad began to sing. So they, these two boys started enjoying horse ride. Aram and Morad believed that stealing a horse for enjoying ride is not wrong. It is nothing like they want to sell the horse for money. So they started enjoying the horse ride. When they reach the open country, Aram wants to ride the horse by himself but Morad reminds him that it is up to the horse. Morad can ride because he says, I have a way with a horse. When Aram tries to ride the horse, he cannot control the animal and it throws him. The two boys find the runaway horse, hide him in an abandoned barn and go home. So they started riding this horse and they started enjoying the ride of horse. But after a few days what happened, the real owner of this horse, John Bayro, visited their house with some other friend. John Bayro said that he walked 10 miles to get to Aram's house causing pain to his legs and he said that somebody had stolen his beautiful white hearts. John Bayro points out that he paid $60 for the horse and now the horse had been stolen by somebody. For two weeks, these boys enjoyed the horse riding. But one day, John Bayro saw his horse. But when he saw his horse with these Armenian boys, he couldn't uh, believe that these boys could have stolen his horse. Even he checked the teeth of the horse and still he couldn't believe and he couldn't trust that Armenian boys could ever steal his horse. So he said that his horse, that means the horse which he had tested, looks like his horse twin. So even though John Bayro could see his own horse in front of his own eyes, but he believed about the credibility of the Armenian family because Armenian family and Gogolian tribe is known for trustworthy and honesty. They will never do such kind of thing in future or they could have done this kind of thing in the past. So that is the belief in John Bayro which made him not to trust his eyes, not to believe his rational thinking and to trust that these boys were not actually guilty. When these two boys, Aram and Morad, listened to what John Bayro said, they were guilty stricken and they wanted to return the hearts back to John Bayro. So they secretly visited John Bayro's shed and they left the hearts in the John Bayro. So after a few days, John Bayro again visited Aram's house and John Bayro told Aram's mother that his horse had written his house. So with this lesson, we can understand that once we have a credibility or once our family has a credibility, name and fame in the society, we should never try to breach the trust of people because the reason is to earn that much trust in the society for your family, it might have taken generations to generations. But if we commit a single mistake, then the whole image will be tarnished or vanished or damaged within a few seconds. So whoever is watching this video, try to keep up the faith, try to keep up, maintain the integrity and credibility of your family. So this is about the story, the summer of the beautiful white hearts. Now what you have to do is read the entire story once and then after completion of reading, come to the questions given under the text, read the questions and find the answers to those questions from the text. So this is about the summary of the summer of the beautiful white hearts. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates and information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching this video and always remember, stay home, stay safe and stay strong. Take care.